everybody, it's me, Paw Paul Sneakers. We're here at Lockworks in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I've got some things I gotta take care of, but we're gonna see some neat stuff while we're here. So let's go inside. Look at this. All different kinds of locks. We've got locks for car keys. Those are the little push button kind. Now open your door without actually putting the key in the lock. And then we've got padlocks, like you might use one of these for locking up your bicycle at school. All different kinds. These are door locks like you have on the front of your house. Here's an electronic one. Again, no key. Check these out. Do you know what this is? This is a safe. You know what a safe is? It's just what it says it is in its name. It's to keep your stuff safe so it can't go away without you knowing about it. <laughs> See how it's locked? But this one, it's what's called a combination lock. You have to have the combination of numbers to get into it. Now my friend showed me this one. Let's see if I can do it. First number I need is 77, 90, 80, 89, or 79, 78, 77. Then we're gonna go this way, past the number 15 twice. That was one. That's two. And then we're gonna go to it and stop on it again. See the 10? And there's the 15. Then we're gonna go back. We gotta go past the number 53. There it goes, 50's over there. So we're gonna go back around and we're looking for it again. Think I got it? All right, and now we're gonna see if I did this right. I didn't do it right. So guess what? It doesn't open. But when you do the numbers in the right order, they open. Now here's a little bit different one. Makes it simpler. This, is a digital lock. We just press numbers. But do you see something neat about this safe that's different from that one? Looks like a mailbox, doesn't it? You can put stuff in here, and when you shut it, it falls down in. You don't have to open up the safe to put the stuff in it. But when we're ready, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, we push the button, still nothing. Well, let's try this again. Hey, there you go. The whole trick to safe is knowing which numbers to press and how to press them, or which dial to turn, and which way to turn it. But there's one thing that this place is really used for a lot. And this is the reason why I'm here. The other day at home, I locked myself <laughs> out and couldn't find my extra key. Luckily enough, I got in later, but what I'm here for today is to get another spare key. That way I have it in case I ever lose this one, got another one. Let me introduce you to Kyle here, a friend of mine. He's Hi. gonna help me out. Kyle, can you help me with a key? Absolutely I can. But why don't you help me cut this key today? That'd be awesome. I've never done that before. So we're gonna start over here with the duplicator. So the first thing you need to do is put that key into this clamp over here. Like with, this? With facing this way. Okay. Just like that. So we're gonna go like that, clamp it in. All right. And then we have that particular key right back here. So go ahead and grab one of those keys. If you look back here, kids, you see there's all different kinds of keys, so we got to have the right one. In this case, it's this one. All right, and we're going to do that over here. Clamp it in the same way. The same way. Like that, tighten that and down. tighten that down. So now, now we need to make sure that they're matched up. So all we have to do is flip up this little bar here to make sure that this one and this one are lined up and it looks like they are okay so now what you're going to do is press this orange button here okay and then lift up and the machine will start and then you make sure you keep one hand here and one hand over here to keep yourself safe okay and then you run the edge of that the edge of this along that key and while you're doing that 
it's gonna cut the key over here. So I wanna make sure that this stays touching this. That way when it cuts over here, because I bet this and this are lined up the same, as this one goes up, it goes up. When it goes down, it goes down to make this key match this key. You are correct. All right, so let's see your stuff. Hand here, hand here. Push the button. Pull down. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Touch there. I see. From the other side? Start from over here. Come a little faster and easier. So now we're going to put. Oh, I see. Now, do I just go over it the one time? Over it again if you want, just to make sure you got it cut perfect. Let's do that. And since it's not making any noise anymore, you've cut your own key. Awesome. So now we take this and we take this key out. Okay. And you'll notice it's still kind of got some stuff hanging on it. Okay. So we're going to push this green button here. All right. And then we're going to clean it on this wire wheel. And that is your new key. Now let's see here. So when we do this, kids, if you look, these keys are now cut the same. Now if you're wondering the way this works, that round circle on your door, on the doorknob, that your key goes into. Inside that hole, there's a little cylinder. It's round and it's long. And it's got little pegs in it, like that. And what happens is when the key goes in, these little ups and downs make these little pins that are inside here go up and down till they match the combination, like on a safe, and then you can turn it. And what does that do then? That unlocks the door so you can get in, like this right here. This lock is cut away so you can see the pins and the springs. And then once everything lines up, it turns. Great friend. Now, did we do anything wrong? Was there anything wrong while we were here? I think there was one thing. Well, well, you didn't straighten your tie right away. Like it's oh, my tie wasn't straight to begin with. Well, I'll have to make sure that's good next time. Well, kids, Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.